You guys have been asking for it and now it is time to do the reveal. This is the Elevar Clear. This is the 20th earbuds you see in my microphone comparison video and this has the potential to be the best microphone that has ever been on a true wireless earbuds period. Okay, so Project T1 is back and we need the product on Monday. Wait, wait, wait. That sounds too good to be true, right? Well, in this video, we're going to put that into test and we'll see if the claim is legit. Smash the thumbs up if you are excited and let's get started right now. Baggy. Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and welcome to my video of the Elevar Clear. Now, this is not a full review like I do on a usual basis. What I do today is going to be unboxing as well as uh, bringing this outside so you get a good idea of how the microphone will perform in real life scenarios when you're using this out and about in real life situations. So a couple things that I have to say before we start is what I have here is the pre-production version. So the production one, the final product might be different. The noise cancellation could be even better as well as the sound quality. That's why I won't talk about it here because it is changed on the final version and they will be released in Indiegogo at the 7th of September for only 70 bucks as the earliest price, which I think is crazy good price for something that has ANC and a microphone this good. Anyway, let's not waste too much time. Let's check out what else do we have. So this thing has ANC. And if you want me to comment on the ANC, I say it is okay for 70 bucks. You know, it is on the sound PC2 level, so it's not too good, but it's not like it doesn't suck as well. But the star of the show that we're going to check out today is definitely this Vogue Plus AI audio I've teased you on my microphone comparison test. This uses a pair of like three microphones on each earbuds with one voice accelerometers each. Seem like Samsung Galaxy Buds, but this one just cancels noise very, very well. Much, much better than any other earbuds I've tested. So I'm excited to show you guys this as well as we have the battery claims here, which is pretty normal for a true wireless earbuds 30 hours. All right, so let's open the box right now and inside you will get a uh, welcome card with 12 month warranty. So don't worry about that. Just hit their email if you have any problems whatsoever. And then we have this as the packaging. So this will go into the detail later. I've teased you about the uh, shape previously and then you guys have guessed like it was like the earphone or the anchor sound core that was really fun anyway uh let's open the box right here all right so inside the first box here we have a USB-C charging cable a very short one i won't comment too much on that and on the second box we have the 12th ear tip six pairs of them so as you can see they have different heights one with like very deep fit and this one is like a shallower fit if you prefer that but i usually go with these parts they fit better in my ear but yeah that's very good because having a good fit is very important if you want to have a good anc experience all right Finally, at the bottom of the box, we have the manual book itself. So let's take out the case right now. A very sleek branding right there. This is a very, very premium looking case. Even if this is sold at $100, I would say it will be still worth it because the build quality is really, really good. And as you can see right there at the bottom of the case, there we have a button here to check the battery status. And once you open the case, all right, so that is the earbuds. We have a wear detection sensor right here. Let's check out if this is made of metal. Yeah, that is definitely metal. And yeah, overall a very, very sleek looking earbuds. It doesn't stray too much from the AirPods Pro design, so this should fit just as well. And also I just wanted to say about the built quality here, the matte plastics here, like it looks really, really good. And also you have the touch sensor on the logo right here. So definitely tap on that but it doesn't interrupt when you're adjusting because you'll be holding this way. That's good, we have the microphone holes, another microphone hole. Anyways, not taking too much of your time, let's bring this outside and we'll see how the microphone performs. Let's go. Starting off with this corridor, see if you can hear my voice or uh, you can hear any of the echoes that's going around. This is quite long, so yeah, that I think 
uh, serves a good indoor test for this, but it is raining quite heavily outside, so we are not going to miss that. We'll go outside, I mean, not out in the rain, but close to the rain to see how well this blocks the outside noise. But before that, I want to show you something on the basement. Let's check it out. All right, so this is going to be quite challenging because there is a very, very noisy uh, wind noise right there. I mean, not wind noise, but this is like a noise of a fan, a lot of them. And just real great. And see if you can hear me clearly. I'll try to get the AirPods Pro, see how it sounds compared to this. So you have a good idea of how the competition that you can get right now fares to the LSF clear. And here you go, the exact same situation with the exact same settings. This noise is constant. Can you still hear my voice? Or you can hear like that being super, super loud. Anyway, this is the AirPods Pro, so we're going to go out. I told you, this video is going to be So yeah, let's go to more places. Okay, I was about to go somewhere. This one has a super strong wind coming this way. So yeah, let's face that way and see if you can hear any of that. See if you can uh, distinguish my voice clearly. And let's check out the elevator right now. Okay, so now we are on the helicopter clear. And again, we're at the same uh, location as before. Same exact situation, very, very strong wind coming directly at my face. So, see if you can hear my voice clearer than the AirPod Pro. How does the wind affect my voice? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, let's move on to the next place. All right, so here we are in a side of shopping mall, and right now we're using the Elevac here. So, see if you can hear my voice clearly. I guess we do a lot of phone calls inside the shopping mall, so. Yeah, I guess it should be quite upset. Okay, let's try the AirPods Pro now. All right, so here we are with the AirPods Pro, and there's I actually just noticed there's some background music playing on on speakers right here. So let's see if we can hear any of that with the AirPods Pro. Or is it cancelled with the other box here? But yeah, that's very much it. All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Uh, it is raining at the moment and see if you can hear my voice clearly can you even hear the rain noise or not <laughs> but yeah let's check out the airpods pro right now and see how that performs all right so here we are now with the airpods pro and how did the sound compare can you hear my voice clearly is it uh, does it sound even fuller or is this background noise the rain noise cancelled a bit more Just some ambient noise here. Check that out. <laughs> okay, let's switch over. Alright, we're on the AirPods Pro now. Alright, so we are using the Elevoc Clear right now. Can you hear that? I'm standing right beside literally it. I'm standing literally right beside it. All right, so actually the wind has stopped. This is the street test that I've been doing in all of my videos. So you know what, I figured I just put it in the video. And right now, can you hear any of the background noises? I think I've done this also on my microphone test, the 21. But yeah, let me just do it one more time and compare it specifically to the AirPods Pro and so you can see how much the difference is. Okay, so we are now on the AirPods Pro and what do you think of the sound quality difference? Uh, can you hear my voice clearer? Or does it sound a little bit thinner or I don't know, just, yeah, this is the result that you get from the AirPods Pro. I guess you might be familiar with it as much as I do because I compare this on each and every of my video. But yeah, I guess you can hear more of the background noise now, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for the microphone test. Now it is time to finally get back upstairs 
and I want to show you something really interesting. All right, so this is the test that I've been wanting to show you, just like indoor setting, but I put like some noise, some music in the background. And actually, this is the first thing that blew my mind in the first place. I was just, you know, like testing, see if I can hear like the music in the background, but then I can hear nothing basically. So yeah, let's just uh, turn it on right now and turn the volume up. Let's say it's 20% right now. Can you hear any of that? I doubt it because it's really, really small, but let's continue to 50%. And there you go. This is at 50%. Can you hear any of the music in the background or just, you know, my voice? Let's now max it out. And yeah, we'll do the same thing with the AirPods Pro. It's very, very loud right now. Basically, it's filling my entire room. So yeah, you probably will hear it a little bit. But yeah, I think this will do a very good job at blocking most of the noise there. Okay, let's move on to the AirPods Pro right now okay so now we are on the airpods pro and before we start this test i just wanted to tell you that this whole time the entire time even with the elevar there is like sound of car drifting let me just give you a quick look there you see that yeah that car that car especially is very very noisy so yeah see if you can hear that even with the airpods pro right here i doubt it you can hear with the elevar clear but yeah Let's do the music test right now and we'll play the sound. Is it playing? Okay, so now it's 0%. Let's up it to 20%. Okay, so there you go. And yeah, see if you can hear that. Car is very, very noisy outside there. But let's continue and put it to 50%. Okay. Wanna we'll put it back a little bit? And this is at 50%. Okay, with the AirPods Pro, can you hear that? Let's up it to 100% now for the real test. And I mean, not it's real test, but it's unrealistic because no one will blast music at full blast and you will be taking a phone call, right? You will for sure like go out and you know find a quieter place even when you're talking on a phone, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for the test. And I guess, you know what, I have to pause that first. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. Let's switch to the Elevar Clear one last time and we'll close the video. All right, so now we are back with the Elevar Clear and what do you think of the sound quality? Isn't it impressive? Like this is what I told you as the next generation. For real, it is better than anything else you can find in the market. Again, this is an Indiegogo exclusive for now because they're launching their first product ever. It'll be 70 bucks, which I think is a crazy good price for something of this caliber. But again, for the sound quality part, I couldn't tell you right now because this unit is a pre-production unit with a different EQ compared to the final product that you will get when you buy it from Indiegogo. So I'll leave the links down in the description below if you wanna check it out. Um, it will be live at September 7th. So maybe this video will be up a little bit before that, but yeah, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video or at least it was entertaining. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait for the full review, hopefully in the near future when I got the final production version. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.